Hi, my name's Jane. I'm also known as Tilly Buddy on Ravelry, if you uh, use Ravelry. And uh, I wanted to show you a two needle cast on for the stretchy slip knot cast on um, that has recently been developed by Jenny Stamen. Um, uh, it's a kind of a partner to Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off, so the two of them work very well together. The cast on is very stretchy and is suitable for the top of socks and um, for hats and that kind of thing because it is so stretchy. Um, I had difficulty with the um, single needle and sort of thumb loop um, cast on with this, um, trying to get the stitches um, consistently spaced. Um, and uh, I came up with an alternative method uh, which is to use uh, two needles um, to make the slip knots um, and I'll show that to you now. Um, I do this by wrapping the thread around the back of the left hand needle and then with the point of the right hand needle you lift the, the thread that's at the back towards you uh, and then come forward and put the point of the needle into the loop that's going around um, the left hand needle. If you then pull that forward towards you, it's making a second loop. So with that second loop, you can go over the, put that over the end of the left hand needle. Now it's very important at this point not to twist the, um, twist the loop. It should be an open loop. Um, uh, so then you put that on and, and pull it and you'll see that it looks as if you have two stitches on that needle. Uh, in actual fact, um, when you pull the um, yarn that I'm holding here in my right hand uh, around the back and then back towards you, it will reposition the stitch on the needle and it will tighten up the slip knot uh, below the stitch so that it will show you that you actually uh, only got one stitch there and that's your first slip knot. So to carry on uh, we just have to repeat that. Um, so you take the yarn around the back of the left hand needle, you, uh, you pick up the back thread with the point of your right hand needle uh, and then you go into the stitch that's wrapped around the left hand needle and then pull that down to free it and put it towards you again to, to open that loop and then that loop goes over the end of the needle again on the left hand side and again making sure not to twist that and then as you pull that towards you you see it tightens the uh, slip knot below the stitch. Now I find this an easier way to get consistent spacing between the stitches, which was the problem I was having with the um, demonstrations of the um, uh, single needle and thumb loop cast-ons that I'd seen. There's absolutely nothing wrong with those cast-ons. In the end, it's about what you're comfortable with uh, and what you find easier. Uh, but I find I can set up a, a sort of um, a rhythm with this that uh, allows me now to cast on quite quickly uh, but without having to worry about the even spacing and that um, bringing the yarn over after having formed the stitch uh, tightens up the slip knot below the stitch as it, um, as it sort of settled onto the left hand needle. So you can see you can get quite a, a, a rhythm going uh, and you get nice evenly spaced stitches. I mean any of these kind of cast-ons are going to take a little bit of practice uh, but I found this a little easier than, um, than the other method which I think Jenny has demonstrated. So it's an alternative. Um, to maintain that spacing as well, what I find is easier to do is as you wrap that uh, yarn around the needle, you can anchor it with your um, index finger on your left hand. 
so that as you pull the, back, the yarn from the back and then pull the loop through you can anchor that uh, newly formed stitch on the needle um, so that it's in the right position relative to the preceding stitch so that when you pull the yarn around to tighten the knot uh, it sits nice and snugly up against the, uh, the one next to it. There you are, an alternative way of doing the stretchy slip knot cast on.